is up you guys, I'm Charmix today, I'm gonna be reacting to a subreddit called r slash facepalm. Now this subreddit is dedicated to really stupid posts, and is probably gonna upset us, like to be honest, it's probably gonna make you and I very mad, just because of how uh, uh, some people can be. And uh, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy this, without any further ado, let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up and get yourself a shirt. Get yourself a shirt at Beanie Boy Clothing. Link in the description. Breaking news, we will not pursue negotiations with Vic Beasley this offseason. Austin replies with, source. The Falcons reply with, literally us, the Falcons. <laughs> Wait, so did Austin not realize who he was, like, tweeting in response to? It doesn't make sense, though, because it's just any glance at this, you can see that, oh, this is the Falcons. So why would you ask source? Wow, that's stupid. That's stupid. See, this is what I mean. This summer is gonna, is, is gonna make us mad. It's gonna make us mad. Straight white males, this movie is not for you! Why are straight white males refusing to see this movie? <laughs> oh my goodness. That is media for you. That is media for you. Just anything to get a click. They don't realize how uh, hypocritical they are. I don't understand how people can stay in one place for the rest of their life and not explore the world. Poverty. I think that's pretty accurate. I mean, uh, yeah, if you don't have money, you can't afford to go see the world. However, if you are homeless, like, you can hit, still hitchhike. Like, I see homeless hitchhikers, you know, they make their way around. They do more traveling than what I do. So, you know, I guess financially, it doesn't stop them. But I think fear is also something that will stop you. You know, a lot of people, uh, they're comfortable with where they are in their city and whatnot, and this is that's what they know. But like, no one really likes the idea of leaving, you know, everyone you know and going somewhere else. Uh, so I think fear is also something that is part of the reason why people don't like to explore and whatnot. As per my office, these are the don'ts at our office washroom. What? You have urinal etiquette posters? What? Okay, so what is okay? Yes. You have your one, and then you have a break, and then you have one. This is correct. You have it where you're, you're uh, looking into the toilet or whatever. That's correct. I don't know what this is. Is this distance showing that you shouldn't be, like, absolutely straight in it? Okay, that's correct. What you shouldn't do? Stand right beside someone. I agree with that. I don't like it. It's awkward. Unless there are barriers. If there's, like, a barrier, then, uh, then it's like, I don't like you standing next to me, but at least there's a barrier. You shouldn't <laughs> stare at them. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't stand, like, three feet away. <laughs> you should- Wait, wait, you can't talk? You can't talk? Since when is that a rule? Here, now, I don't talk. But if someone were to talk to me and, you know, as long as they're not looking at me, if they're just kind of minding their own business and talking, hey, I might, I might join in the conversation. This one, I think's okay. They shouldn't pull their pants all the way down. Yeah, I don't know why some people are like that. They shouldn't take a crap in the... <laughs> yep, you shouldn't do that. Although I know that doesn't stop people from doing it. You shouldn't pee on the person? Has this been an issue at your office? <laughs> you shouldn't share urinals? <laughs> what if my best buddy doesn't have one and I, and I offer him a spot to share? <laughs> And you shouldn't pee on the floor. Wow, I can't believe you have to have a urinal etiquette poster. Like, how how many times have people messed this up that they're like, okay, we gotta get the poster. Prince Charles flew 125 miles in helicopter to give speech on air aircraft emissions. I saw this recently. <laughs> I saw this recently. That's hilarious. That is the definition of hypocrisy. And so many, so many, like, Hollywood people are like this. They all have private jets and whatnot, and then they go to places talking about, oh, we need to cut down on our emissions. Well, you're the one flying in a freaking private jet. Do you know how much pollution they have compared to an everyday car? It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. See, that's just what riles me up, is the hypocrisy of people like the elites. They, oh. Ah! Who is your favorite North American hip-hop artist? J. Cole, Jay-Z, Drake, or other? And Drake is the majority. North American? Drake is from Canada. It's up north, but not American. <laughs> oh, wow. Who wants to bet that they deleted that post? <laughs> like their uh, response. I'm pretty sure they must have deleted it. North America includes Mexico, Canada, and the United States. It's not just American. Oh my goodness. All right, here's an Ellen thing. Oh, I remember seeing this. Uh, can this teenager use a rotary phone? Someone just comments, oh look at these stupid kids, they can't use a rotary phone, they can't use a phone book. Wow, it's almost like as technology advances, older things slowly become useless and obsolete. Kind of like Ellen. 
<laughs> Friggin' roasted. I mean, she's just catering to her audience, let's be honest. People who watch Ellen used to use rotary phones. Okay, she's just catering to her audience. Slightly used couch. Soft, gray, no pets. <laughs> and there's a cat in the background. <laughs> Am I a joke to you? Oh, that's Facebook for you. Britain's first reported case of the coronavirus is Kent. Turns out to be a hangover. Oh my goodness. How? How do you mistake a hangover for this? Is this your first time ever being hungover? How does that happen? This makes no sense. Man creates fake traffic jam on Google Maps by wheeling 99 smartphones in a wagon. <laughs> I have so many questions. First off, that's hilarious, but like at the same time, why? Like, did you buy all of these smartphones? How much money do you have? You realize how much smartphones cost and you have 99 of them? That's insane. All right, if you have brown eyes, this filter turns them blue. TikTok users expose eyes to phone flash in viral trend promising blue eye color. That doesn't sound good. A TikTok challenge which shows users exposing their eyes to smartphone camera flash attempting to change the color of their eyes has gone viral. The video that started the trend uh, misleadingly claimed that TikTok has a new filter, S5, that changes the eye color from brown to blue when used with flash. However, experts warned the exposure could cause flash blindness. Why would you create a trend like this? You're gonna cause someone to go blind, and then you're gonna have some kind of like hand in them going blind. Alright, oh, oh wait, 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 wait a minute now. At the same time, like, everyone has had pictures taken of them with a flash on though, right? Have we not? So if you get like a picture taken of you with a flash on, does that automatically put you at risk for being, you know, flash blind or whatever? So should flashes on camera just not exist? Or do we just take the risk of going flash blind every, ta every time we take a, a picture with the flash on? This is a, something doesn't make sense there. Like, although this is a dumb challenge or whatever, at the same time it's like, but, I mean, most people have had pictures taken of them with flashes on. It's not that big of a deal. So now I don't even know what to believe anymore. I'm questioning everything. All right, so here's an app titled Download More Ram Prank. Uh, and the ratings for this app. Seriously, I could laugh at this app. Why does it exist when it doesn't work? This app is the definition of stupid. Uninstalled. <laughs> oh my goodness. It says prank in the title. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. Like, I know there are, like, websites or whatever that say, yo, you could download RAM. Which, that's a lie. You cannot download RAM. RAM is something you have to install. It's like a physical thing you have to install onto your computer. You cannot download RAM. And this person made an app for it, and it says it's a prank in the title. So, so it's not misleading at all. Do you just not know how to read? But you, you wrote this with decent English, except for you used emojis, so negative points there. But, <laughs> But I don't understand. Freaking crazy people. Oh, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Okay. A US town rejected solar panels amid fears. They'd suck up all the energy from the sun. <laughs> Stay in school, people. Stay in school. Use your brain. Stay in school. This cannot- this ca I can't believe this. Alright, here's a post from Shower Thoughts. Sound is faster than light, because when we turn on the light in the room, the light switch click is heard before the actual light is seen from the bulb. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I wanna go- I wanna try- I'm, all right, all right, I'm gonna go try this. Alright, I'm over here at the light switch, I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it works. All right, that was one light. I'm gonna try the uh, another light. All right, I, I think I might be pretty stupid because <laughs> although I know light is faster than sound, like when you see a freaking uh, jet fly by that's going really fast, the sound is often behind it. So that right there shows you the limit of how fast sound is. But at the same time, when I did this experiment there, I'm like, oh, they're really close. <laughs> oh, frig me. My school ice cream is like a fortune cookie since it's the year of the rat. But the fortune makes absolutely no sense. 
Is that ice cream? Is that really ice cream? That looks kind of melted. Anyway, always remember that you are absolutely unique, just like everyone else. <laughs> I think whoever wrote that knew what they were doing. Like that's, th look at that. Yeah, they knew, they definitely knew what they were doing. They definitely knew what they were doing. That's funny though. I remember when I was growing up that, you know, like this is kind of the mindset that would be taught where like everyone's unique. Everyone's unique. To an extent, that's true. Everyone is unique. There's not another you. But there's definitely a lot of people that are similar. <laughs> there's not another you, but there's someone who's really similar. <laughs> All right. Friend thought she had cancer because she was sick and her hair was strangely smooth. Strangely smooth? Hair? Is that like a symptom of cancer? <laughs> uh, what? I'm scared. I think that I might have cancer. That flu a couple years ago. Coronavirus, etc. I, I don't think you have cancer. I'm very paranoid right now. You're fine. My hair is strangely smooth though. What if it falls out? That doesn't mean anything. Hair falls out from chemo. But what about the corona? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, like your hair falls out because of chemotherapy, not because of the cancer. I always think of myself as not being the smartest person around. You know, I, I am aware of my intellect and how non-smart I can be. But then seeing these really make me feel better about myself. Space Force is about exploration and finding out what's out there. But NASA does space exploration. NASA is only telling us what they want us to know. Whereas I think Trump would send his own stuff and we will find out the truth. Did someone really say that? I think this is a school that you were right behind. I, I, I recommend you go to it. Like, NASA's been around way before Trump. NASA was the ones that landed the spaceship on the moon. Come on now! Come on now! Use our brain! Use our brain! Like, I, I, I don't get into politics or anything like that. I don't care what side you're on. But come on now. We gotta use our brain. We gotta use our brain. NASA's been around for a long freaking time. Alright, here's something. I don't know where this is. Is this Amazon? Or Facebook Marketplace or something? I don't know. Built-in 168 retro games. Battlefield 4 is a retro game? How old am I? <laughs> Also, could you imagine playing Battlefield 4 on- I don't, this, I don't even know what this is. This looks like it's a rip-off, um, Game Boy Advance or something. Could you imagine playing Battlefield on this? That'd be awful. <laughs> Battlefield 4? Oh my goodness. Parents out there, do not buy your kids this type of thing. You know, save up your money and buy them an actual game system. Don't buy them these rip-off game systems because it'll, ju it'll just be a letdown. I know from experience. I remember playing these weird, like, these game systems which weren't, weren't, weren't actually game systems. They were like these rip-off things that had, like, preloaded games on them. Like, sure, a couple of the games I remember that were, they were okay, but so many of them were just horrible. It was just like a waste of money. At that point, just save the money and put it towards something that your kids will actually appreciate a lot more. My three-year-old is not vaccinated and there's currently a measles outbreak in my state. Any suggestions for, for precautions I should take to protect her? It'd be very much appreciated. <laughs> oh my, I can't, I can't, I'm done, I'm done, I've freaking done this. That was rough. That was rough. Anyway though, I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, and subscribe to the family. Make sure you go check out the merch link in the description. I got a new uh, rose uh, design up. It looks really cool. But um, yeah, anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.